Hello guys, today we're gonna be building a simple React app with React hooks. It's gonna be looking like this. It's a random number generator app. And it's gonna be pretty simple to make. It's a really small app, so let's begin. I'm just gonna add some HTML and styles first so we can see the app and then we're gonna add the functionality to it. Okay, so this random number, we're only gonna have a single paragraph that's gonna display a random number here. Uh, and I'll we'll just have like five for now. And then under this random number with dance, we're gonna add uh, another container. So this one is going to have the minimum value and the maximum value. So what we need is two divs first. And this is going to have just a simple paragraph and an input field. Just like that, and then we're gonna have we're gonna copy paste this tip one more time, and this is gonna be max value, and then here, let's see where the container ends. So before the this tip where container ends, we're gonna add a button. Something like that. And then let's add the stylings first. So let's go, let's see, we have here. Yeah, we need to change this to here. <laughs> that was my bad. Okay, so we have that. We're also gonna have this play flex here. And then we have the container. So margin auto with display flex on the parent is just gonna center this completely on the page. Then we also need flex inside our container. Okay. And then we have the random one.
So this is where our random number is going to be once we click the button all the time. Then we have the number container. That's just gonna space these apart. Let's see what else. Then the div inside of that. Okay, something like that. And then the last thing is going to be the button. Okay, let me see what I did here. So I think our container should only have the, the background here. Give me one second. Container, yeah. This should have a background. Here, there we go. So we're gonna need three different states, one for min value, one for max value, and one to get the random number. So we're gonna import use state here. And then let's make all three of those. So this is going to be a state for our main value, then we're going to need one for the max value. So right now this is 10 and 0, but you guys can change these however you guys want. So something like this, so min value state, state for the max value and state for the random number. So here we're going to display the random number, which is 5 right now. Again, you can change this however you want. You can make this random number at the beginning as well. And then for our inputs, this, this one right here. We're going to set the value to min value, which is our state here. And then we're going to have on change event. Where we can pass E and get the target value of it, or set our state to that target value. Let me close this so it has more space here. Uh, 
And then for this input, we're gonna use the second state for our max value. So value. And then we're gonna have the same on change event, except this is gonna set our max value. So we're displaying this min value right here, which is zero, and the max value, which is 10 here. Then we're gonna make a simple function that's gonna get us the random number each time we click on the button here. So let's call this handle random. So we're gonna use this random number state, which we can see here, and we're gonna set it to something different right now. Mat floor is just to round up the numbers, and then we're gonna have mat random inside. Like so, then times, and we're gonna have our min value, or actually max value. Uh, minus min value plus one and then after this parenthesis right here we're gonna add space plus min value again and then we need to add on click events to the button and here we we can just call the function we just made which is handle random number So now, each time we click this, we should get some random number, as you can see it here. But there's a small issue we have. For example, if we did numbers that are close, like let's say 20 and 25, and we get the random number, it still starts from zero for some reason. That's because we need to make sure that these two here are an actual number. So we can use uh, something called the unary operator. And you can, how that works, you can just add plus before it, and that's gonna make sure that this is actually a number all the time. And we can do that on the other input as well. So now once we save that, if we do the same thing for like 20, 25, we're gonna get the numbers between 20 and 25. And it's, it works the same for everything right now. 3 and 30. So, yeah, that, this app is really small, but if you guys wanna maybe change these, you can do that. Also, if you don't want the first number to be 5 here, once you reload the page all the time, you can paste this whole thing, just copy this and paste it here. I'll show you that. So now each time you're gonna get a random number at the beginning. So it's three right now, if I refresh the page, it's gonna be one, six, and so on. So yeah, that's the, that's the app we're building today. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Peace out.